Okay, um, I'm going to replace my thermostat. I bought one of these new Nest thermostats. So hard for me to tell what you can really see. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so I'm going to replace it with this uh, this newer one. Um, first thing you do is it's actually a very easy installation. I just thought I would show this to you because I thought it's so easy. Um, first thing you do is you just take the cover off. Uh, of your thermostat, which I've already done. Took the screws out of it, they were holding it under the wall. Took the batteries out. Uh, and then the first thing you do is you label the wires. Nest comes with a little kit that, um, let's see the little kit right here. Gives you little labels. You can label the wires so you know which ones you're um, about to take out. So once you take them out, they're just going to be like kind of a nest of wires. So I've already labeled them, so I'm just going to pull them out. This is called a jumper wire, and it transfers power from one place to another, lets it kind of jump over. You don't need that with nest, uh, and I know that because instructions told me. So it's not like a you know like a commonly known thing. So I'm just taking all the wires out. And then I'm going to uh, pull this off. The wires go through there, and that's the wires. Uh, you've probably never seen behind what's behind your thermostat, but it's just a bunch of wires. So then I'm going to take the Nest platform, which is this little round disc thing. I'm going to push it through here and I would normally I mean if these holes weren't here I would leave it like this but I don't like that so let's see if I can pull these out these are what's called wall anchors and they're for drywall so when you when you put a screw in a drywall, it really doesn't have anything to hold it to. So these plastic things will expand inside the drywall, creating pressure on all sides um, around the drywall, helping it to hold a little bit better. But I don't want those in the wall, so because I'm going to where's that part? All right, let's see, Ness makes this little thing here. It's like the cover plate looks much nicer um, it looks nice because it just covers up these holes right and this is kind of ugly and I mean nobody really cares you never see it but if I had just the uh, the circle on it I don't know if you can tell but if I just had that circle on there there would still be the two screw holes to be visible so I don't want that so I'm gonna pop them right through here just like so this hole is a little bit close to this side, so I'll push this over just a smidgen. Um, then I'm going to put this through here. This is where you wire it, it's very easy. Clips into this little backing plate, and then what I love about it is it has a has a little level on the thing. I'm not sure if you can see there or not. It's a little blue level built into it. So it's pretty good. I'm going to get my drill ready and I'm going to just put these two screws in here. Probably doesn't really need drywall anchors because it really doesn't. It's not going to be holding very much. But if it does, then I'll take it back out. If it starts falling off or something, I'll take it back out and put it on put some in there but I just don't really have any right with me right now so I'm going to forgo that trying to get the level perfect
going pretty good. Now I just gotta hook up the wires. This is pretty easy part, really. So the way these work is, ah, this label came off. These are simple, where you push these. I don't know if you can see that. You push the little side here, and it releases it. Insert that in there, and it holds it with tension from the spring where you push it. Not using this orange wire. Some of the wires you don't need for thermostats because they make the wiring very universal for all kinds of different systems and your system probably only needs a few of the wires. You just want to push it in there where it's snug and when once it's locked on there you should be able to pull on the wire a little bit and make sure it's not coming out. Not coming out. Nest will come out and install this for you for like $150, but I think this has taken me a total of, including the start of taking off everything, probably 15 minutes. This is an easy, easy job. WR came out. And again, there's several other wires that you're not really going to need. So I just kind of, you want to try to push them back inside of the little hole as much as possible. This WR came out, so put that back in. Looks good. Let's plug in the nest and see if it works. It has a simple little, um, like a 20 pin system that just goes into right here. So if you have it wired correctly, it'll should fire right up. And there it goes. charging up for a minute. It's going to take it a minute because it has an internal battery that it has to charge up for a minute. But then you just go through and you'll connect it to your Wi-Fi and that way you can control the thermostat with your phone. Um, which is a nice feature. So this could take like five to ten minutes to charge up so I'm not going to sit here and just watch this. Basically the gist is you just uh, are going to go through the settings and Again, connect it to your Wi-Fi like you would any other device. I mean, it's very, very simple. Um, it's a very, very nice device. Anyway. Oh, there it goes. I don't know if you can read this. English. Let's see, internet connection. Connect to the internet. Alright, I'm not going through my Wi-Fi password with you Yahoo's. Adios.